Before we get started with this video, I would like to mention that you can get started with part two of this series, which is the Blue Team series, by clicking on the link in the description section, where you will be required to provide your first name, last name, email and company, after which uh, you'll be provided with instant on-demand access uh, to the videos included in part two of this series. Uh, these videos include host-based intrusion detection with OSSEC, uh, memory acquisition with Lime, memory forensics, disk analysis, Docker image analysis, and incident response with FireEye Redline. So do be sure to check this out. Uh, the video is 100% free. All you need to do is register and uh, you'll be able to access the videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Blue Team training series brought to you by Hackersploit and Linode. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to perform network intrusion detection with Suricata. Before we get started, I would just like to thank our sponsor for this video and this series, and that of course is Linode. Uh, so thank you to them. They make series like this possible. If you want to register for part two of this series, uh, you can do so by clicking the registration link in the description section. And you can also get $100 in free Linode credit uh, by clicking the link in the description. So you can actually follow along with this series without you know, paying for anything really, uh, which is really awesome, right? So uh, as I said, in this video, we're covering uh, the process of performing intrusion detection with Suricata or using Suricata to essentially detect intrusions and attacks uh, on your network. Um, so as I said, uh, you know, Suricata and Snort are very, very similar and can, and, can, and can both be used for intrusion detection as well as intrusion prevention. However, in this series, because this is an introductory guide to Blue Team operations, we're not going to be taking a look at intrusion prevention in regards to, uh, you know, an intrusion detection system or, you know, we're not going to be exploring it uh, right now, as uh, you already know. And of course, we already explored a little bit of, uh, you know, incident response and actively reacting to threats uh, in the previous video. But uh, again, we're primarily focused on detecting malicious traffic uh, or, you know, traffic that looks suspicious on a network. All right. So in terms of what we'll be covering, we'll get started with an introduction to Suricata. We'll then take a look at how to install and configure Suricata, uh, the Suricata rules, how to update the rule set, uh, as well as the Suricata configuration file. Uh, how to write custom Suricata rules uh, and how to perform network intrusion detection with Suricata. So the objective here is to introduce you to Suricata, show you how to set it up. It's much easier to set up than, uh, th than you know, something like Snort, for example. Uh, and, uh, you know, the actual uh, one really cool thing that I like is the fact that the actual configuration file and the Suricata syntax is almost the same as Snort. And that is really awesome because it means you really don't need to learn anything additional. The only thing you need to know is how to run Suricata and where the log files are stored. Uh, but in terms of the rules themselves and the rule syntax, it's pretty much the same. There's just a few minor differences between the two. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, if I'm running Snort, why would I want to switch to Suricata? Well, uh, Suricata is pretty much my go-to solution when it comes to uh, when it comes to an intrusion detection system primarily because it's much faster and much easier to manage, uh, you know, and this is not saying that Snort is bad at all. Uh, I just prefer Suricata and that's why I wanted to cover it, right? Now, at the end of the video, as a bonus, I'll be showing you how you can configure Wazoo to actually read the logs uh, from that are produced by Suricata. So if you install the Wazoo agent, uh, on a Suricata or, or on the server that's running Suricata, then you can essentially read or import those logs into Wazoo and also get information regarding the threats uh, or the suspicious network activity going on on that network. So you're actually learning more about the network and what's going on. Uh, and you're not really uh, focused on individual agents or individual systems, which can be, which can, uh, you know, improve uh, your knowledge as to the actual threat surface, help you identify threats uh, much better or much easier, etc., etc. So the prerequisites, you should be familiar with them by now. They're essentially the same as they have been throughout the series with the exception of the Wireshark video. Um, right, so let's get an introduction to Suricata. Suricata is a free and open source threat detection engine. It does this by combining uh, intrusion detection and uh, intrusion prevention functionality as well as network security monitoring. 
Uh, so Suricata is owned and developed by the community-run non-profit organization called OSIF, also known as the Open Information Security Foundation. And you can actually find the Suricata GitHub repository linked on this slide. Uh, the Suricata website is also hyperlinked to the Suricata word at the top there. So if you access these slides, you'll be able to get the links. Uh, and of course, uh, all relevant links will be added to the description section of this video. Now, Suricata has two main operational modes, right? So it has an active mode and a passive mode. And as you can tell, this is very, very similar to what we had with Snort. Uh, with a few differences. Uh, the one thing that I like about Suricata is that it's a very well developed tool in that it, uh, you know, in terms of the functionality, it uh, breaks it down into two modes where you can uh, detect intrusions and you can prevent them, right? So it's very, very simple. So active mode, uh, as you know, is uh, for the intrusion prevention uh, system. And this is used to alert, log and block network traffic that matches specific rules. So the key thing here, because this is a uh, you know, this is an active, this is in active mode. Uh, this is where you can essentially drop packets or you can essentially block uh, network traffic or activity uh, that is malicious. And of course that is done uh, because Suricata matches the traffic against uh, specific rules. Uh, this can either be uh, the rule set that Suricata comes with by default, or it can be predefined rules or rules that you have created yourself. You then have the passive mode, which is used for intrusion detection. That's what we're going to be using or running Suricata in. This is used to identify, alert, and log suspicious network traffic within a network. So the objective here, as it was with Snort, is to set up a server or a system on a network and install Suricata on it and essentially identify and uh, you know log any suspicious traffic or network activity in order to detect uh, threats or uh, you know it can essentially aid your uh, the, the actual security events uh, and give you a holistic view of what's going on an, on a network uh, because uh, attackers or um, you know threats may be performing uh, tests or may be running scans on the network uh, trying to probe for devices and this is again uh, you know very very important for a security engineer you have to take in the the actual security of the devices or the hosts running on a network uh, but you also need to take into consideration the network uh, security aspect of it uh, with that being said, uh, how does Suricata work? So Suricata can be deployed as an IDS on a network to monitor network traffic or as an IPS in inline mode to detect and stop malicious network traffic. So the way it works is exactly the same as the way SNOT works, whereby for intrusion detection, all you need to do is just specify uh, the interface, uh, you know, that you want to monitor, uh, that you want to run Suricata on or that you want Suricata to monitor. Uh, so, you know, you can specify the network subnet and then the interface name, right? And if you are running it in IPS mode, then, uh, you know, you're running it in inline mode, which means you need to have this before the switch. So uh, the internet comes in from the router and then that goes into one network interface. And uh, the other network interface card is what goes into the actual switch. And uh, that way, that means that uh, at this choke point, all the traffic coming in and out is going through the server that's running Suricata in uh, the IPS mode or uh, in inline mode. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that should make sense uh, by this point. So Suricata utilizes a set of predefined rules or rule sets to identify malicious network activity. When malicious network traffic is detected and is matched against a rule or set of rules, uh, an alert will be generated and the traffic will be logged. So similar to Snort, these logs can then be imported or relayed into a seam like Splunk. A Splunk is not really a seam because it's essentially used for logging, uh, but we can also import them into Wazoo or configure Wazoo to actually monitor those logs uh, for security event monitoring. So, uh, you know, similarly to the Snort video, uh, Suricata can be placed in, uh, you know, it can be implemented in two ways. So in the IPS, uh, in the IPS mode, you can see that the connection, um, you know, we have the internet, it goes through the router, and then it goes to the server running Suricata, and then it goes to the switch. And if it's running in IDS mode, which is what we're doing, then, you know, you have the internet connection coming into the router, you may have a firewall, you may not, it goes into the switch. And then this is where you connect the, uh, the server running Suricata. And it, of course, it's going to be running in uh, the intrusion detection uh, mode. As for our lab environment, it's essentially going to be the same uh, as uh, we had with Snort. The only difference is we're going to have Suricata running, uh, you know, on this server instead of Snort, and it's running on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, 
I recommend following along with this series with Ubuntu primarily because it's much easier to use a Debian based Linux distribution, uh, you know, for the simple fact that package management is very easy and, uh, you know, products like Suricata have packages and uh, repositories uh, built, uh, you know, for Debian based distributions first. And then of course you have Fedora, CentOS and uh, Arch based Linux distributions. Uh, we're also going to have a vulnerable Linux server. This is not required because, as I said, we've already explored this, which is not uh, the main thing we're going to be taking a look at is setting up the infrastructure and making sure that everything is running correctly. I just want to take a couple of moments to thank our Patreons. Thank you, Michael Hubbard, Dustin Umpress, Jerry Speds, Doozy, Sid Saab, Ryan Carr, Shamir Douglas, Jojo Bibi, Balangos, Kushkev, RS, Nino Buikov, and David Bricker. You guys are really awesome. Thank you very much for supporting us. And you guys make these types of videos possible. So we really appreciate it. And we look forward to producing even more high quality content. Thank you.